Hi everyone. Now we are going to learn about the different kinds of noun. Before that, what is noun? Noun is a part of speech. Noun is the name of a person, animal, thing, idea or a quality. We categorize noun in different kinds. Today we will discuss about four kinds of noun that are common noun, proper noun, collective noun and abstract noun. So let's start. Noun. What is a noun? Noun is a name of a person, animal, thing, place, idea or a quality. For example, Anjali, Manu, boy, sister, grandmother, police, etc. are the names which we are given for the person. Tiger, goat, dove, peacock, cow, lizard, etc. are the names which we are given for the animals. Pencil, book, tree, car, plate, grapes are the names which we are given for the things. Guruvayur, hospital, Australia, village, school, etc. are the names which we are given for different places. So, for each and everything, we have given names that is generally called as noun. Now, let's see the different kinds of noun. The first one is common noun. The second one is proper noun. Third one is collective noun. Fourth one is abstract noun. Fifth one is the material noun. So, generally, there are five kinds of noun. Today, we are going to learn four kinds of noun first one is the common noun it is referred to a person place thing or animal in general for example teacher boy dog pen man town friend etc we know there are many teachers in our school who is taking different subject and they have their own name but we generally call them as teachers so teacher is a common noun now let's see a sentence. There are many beautiful places in Kerala. Even it is Guruvayur, Trishur, Kochi. We call them as place. So place is a common noun. The next sentence. My friend borrowed a few books yesterday. In this sentence, the words friend and books are the common noun. You may have friend in your school or a friend near to your house. But generally we call them as friend. The next word book. It can be a science book, maths book, drawing book, story book. But generally we call it as book. So that is also a common noun. See the next sentence. I like to play in the park. In Kerala there are many parks. For example Wanderla, Dream World. Even in our school also there is a park. And each park has its own name, but generally we call them as park. So here in this sentence, park is the common noun. See the next sentence. I live in a big city. Here the city's name is not mentioned. It can be a city in Kerala or a city in Bangalore or anywhere. So city is the common name which we are attributed to a public place. So, city is the common noun. Now, let's see what is proper noun. Proper noun is a special name for a person, place, thing or an animal. Here, we are giving a name to a person or a place or a thing or an animal. And proper noun always start with a capital letter. For example, Rahul, Guruvayur, Tiger, Royal Enfield, Unity Hospital, etc. These are the names and it is started with capital letter. Let's see the first sentence. My name is Anjali. In this sentence we can see a name of a person. What's that? Anjali. And it's begun with a capital letter. Next sentence. Delhi is the national capital of India. In the second sentence. 
we can see two names delhi and india these are the names of a place and it is started with a capital letter and the third sentence i like to ride in royal enfield royal enfield is a name of a bike bike is a common noun but royal enfield is a proper noun see the last sentence my friend teaches in army public school here a school's name is mentioned it is army public school and the school name is started with a capital letter so that is the proper noun in your textbook page number 6 we can see the grammar portion see the first sentence the brindavan gardens are the gardens attached to it brindavan gardens here we can see the garden is named as brindavan and it is begun with a capital letter b so that is the proper noun garden is a common noun next one there is the old green house in mysore so house is the common noun because it can be his uncle's house his mother's house that is a common one then mysore is a particular name for a particular place so that is the proper noun an activity has been given in page number 7 that circle the common noun and underline the proper noun in the sentences do it by yourself okay now let's see the collective noun collective noun are the words for group or collection of people place things or animal for example class crowd army pack bunch pride fleet bouquet etc here we can see a collection or group of people or things the first sentence an army of soldiers which means a group of soldiers next sentence i lost a bunch of keys yesterday bunch means a collection of something here the collection of keys so it is called as bunch of keys see the next sentence he has a pack of cards in the sentence we can see there is a collection of cards so we termed it as pack of cards so pack is the collective noun used here the next sentence there is a pride of lions in the forest here pride means a group of lions so pride is the collective noun see this picture the first picture we can see a group of thieves so it is called as a gang of thieves the next a murder of crows it is the group of crows the next one is a fleet of ships it is the group of ships in this picture we can see a bunch of grapes choir of children and a flock of birds so these are the examples for collective noun in your textbook you can see page number 7 the first sentence the ender family had them here family is a group of members second sentence the band is playing my favorite song here band is a group of musicians so these are the collective nouns here now see the exercise complete the sentences with the correct collective nouns from the box children try to do this activity by yourself and the answer keys will be given in the next class now let's see what is abstract noun abstract nouns are words about things that we cannot touch see taste hear or smell it can be an idea or a feeling or a quality for example courage childhood anger excellence privacy etc here we cannot touch smell taste hear the courage so that is an abstract noun now see the first sentence honesty is the best policy honesty is the truthfulness which we cannot touch see taste hear or smell so that is the abstract noun the next sentence he had a happy childhood so childhood is the abstract noun here it is a period of time happened in past so that we cannot touch smell or taste see the next sentence an elephant has great strength here the word strength 
that is a quality and we cannot touch the strength even we cannot taste or smell the strength so that is an abstract noun see the last sentence wisdom cannot be bought wisdom is something being wise so it is a quality of a person which we cannot touch smell or taste so that is an abstract noun so these are the examples for abstract noun in your textbook page number 7 we can see these sentences putty's eyes grew round with excitement when i was about your age you are exactly a hundred years old today said the twins with confidence here excitement age confidence are the abstract nouns which we cannot see touch taste hear or smell it is a kind of idea feeling or a quality so these are abstract nouns in the same page you can see an activity that is underlined abstract nouns in these sentences dear children try to answer these questions by yourself the answers will be given in the next class so this is for today don't forget to do the activities given in the grammar section thank you